uh, my name is Gabriel, I'm 32 years old, originally from Italy. I moved here in uh, New South Wales since uh, 2016 um, and I came in uh, uh, with a working holiday visa and um, I'm working in Rombola Family Farms as an irrigation manager and agricultural technician. We do uh, melons, pumpkins uh, for the summer crop and during the winter we produce uh, um, broccoli as a row cropping. We have got permanent planting and on the permanent planting we grow um, oranges, uh, vines, which is just grapes for the uh, wine and uh, almonds as well. We've got uh, uh, pretty much agreements with the big supermarkets and the rest will be on the fresh markets all across uh, Australia. My multispectral role consists in different tasks which cover pretty much uh, uh, communicating with my uh, co-workers, growers and uh, farm up manager come up with a plan across uh, daily on daily basis and also for long term like medium long term plans. Um, I also conduct uh, maintenance, preventive maintenance and uh, any other ex exclusive man uh, maintenance that might occur during the during the summer or during the season. It's not a hard job, it's just you need a will to learn and then if you are not keen to uh, learn new, uh, new skills and new uh, tasks, sometimes it's pretty uh, tough. So I think it's just uh, attitude wise, it's a big requirement. The rest you will learn with the time. There's a, a lot to do, There's a, a, we, we are facing a shortage of uh, labor of course due to the COVID, um, but the company is providing us all the tools that we need. Uh, and um, yeah, it's just uh, we have to we do whatever we have to do to keep the ball, uh, ball rolling. Yeah, I didn't have any uh, background in the agriculture before back in Italy. I studied law. I've done a two-year pathway in uh, Wagga Wagga, uh, so it was certificate two and uh, diploma in ag. I started as assistant in uh, um, irrigation manager, agricultural technician. So pretty much uh, soil sampling. Um, main, maintenance uh, basics and valve sets. Based on the fact that you learn every day, I will say that in the first three, four months have been crucial. After that, it's just been an escalation. So I, I improve myself day by day. I'm still doing it at the moment. So uh, I would suggest, strongly suggest to uh, combine the educational aspect with the practical aspect because uh, um, the only practice or the only education won't provide you the good level skills that you might require for working on the farm. It's it's crazy how like before when I was back in Italy I was not even able to touch an angle grinder. I didn't know how to operate it. And now I'm I don't want to feel like a tradesman but I, I'm pretty confident using power tools or any other sort of tools like a handyman, yeah. Another big thing will be to uh, move in the country uh, for the fresh air but even for affordable prices in terms of rent or first home buyers. It's it's very very nice the idea of you can build your own life. I think that the agricultural field and the whole industry is very um, mentally demanding be, because you have to troubleshoot issues and uh, it's very vibrant environment because you always have to play play like a chess master. You have to uh, imagine your uh, your issues in front of you and then you have to go a couple of steps forwards trying to understand uh, what will be the best option. So every day is a challenge, every day is different, there's no chance to get bored and uh, yeah I think it's, it's the very changeable environment day by day. Like I said before we are facing a lack of uh, workforce and there are many positions on the especially here on uh, Rombola we have a uh, position from ground level up to senior, senior management.